right? So good morning, my good friends. I'm very happy to have this great opportunity to present this paper regarding segmental rocks of the United Arab Emirates, where we uh, trying to estimate the unconfined professor strength of segmental rocks in the United Arab Emirates from the point load test. This will be uh, my agenda for today's presentation. The following. And let's now all think about the following regarding the United Arab Emirates. In the last decade, the construction boom that happened in the United Arab Emirates, presented by the Burj Khalifa, the highest skyscraper in the whole world, standing on rocks. This nice mountainous chalet, also standing on rocks. Another point, United Arab Emirates has one of the most advanced transportation systems in the whole Middle East, of which tunnels and viaducts are main feature of this transportation system. This Wadi al tunnel is a rock tunnel, which is the longest tunnel of its type in the whole Middle East. And this is the Al Hadariyat Island Bridge in Abu Dhabi, where I guarantee 100% it rests on rock. So, rock, 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 rock. These structures, they all rest on rock. So, I need some strength factor to. Determine the capability of these rocks to take the loads from these elevations. So, this is the first problem. Second, not enough research was done in correlating rock parameters in the United Arab Emirates. Third, extreme weathering conditions like high temperature as high as 50 degrees Celsius easily in summer and humidity as high as 90 percent and even more this is the normal summer at least in summer day in the United Arab Emirates so knowing these problems and because of this the rocks in United Arab Emirates is very fractured it is very weak, very fractured. So even it is hard for the lab man to acquire a sample to, con to conduct the unconfined processing on. We all know that the code specifies a certain limit for the length to diameter ratio of 2 to 1 strict with small plus or minus 5% involved. That's why this study was proposed. Some notes and limitations regarding the study. The samples were tested in their as received state, and three rock types were considered sandstone, mudstone, and crystalline limestone. Why those three? Because these are the dominant rock types in the whole United Arab Emirates. We can find some conglomerates, but they are minority. So the best thing is to study the majority of rocks in the whole United Arab Emirates. Now, in brief, sedimental rocks are sediment array. So these are rocks formed from sediments from other rocks or chemical precipitation from chemical reactions or biochemical results like in coal, biochemical sedimental rock, sand, uh, sorry, crystal and gypsum and limestone. These are chemical precipitation rocks. Conglomerate, sandstone, and mudstone are all an example of plastic rocks where sediments of different other rocks are conjoined to form a new rock. Now, the unconfined compressive strength. I now claim that uh, nearly all the mechanical engineering people there, they understand what is this. The more certain representation for the stress state of an unconfined compressive strength sample. Right? Needed in determination of the bearing capacity of the rocks and involved into many rock mass classifications. 
like the RMR, for example. It is determined in the other 30 minutes, we use the ASTL code, code D7012, to perform the test. Or, if you cannot perform it, you can go to the empirical relation, which will be discussed shortly. Now, the point of strength index test, which is the failure, I'll be talking now about the diametral test. Why? You will know why. The failure strength of rock subjected to lateral load, the core. The STM D5731 code governs the conduction of this test, and it gives clearly, explicitly, the reason why to choose the point load strength index. Time and money. Explicitly. In commercial labs where every single minute counts, you are kindly invited to use this test to overcome the shortenings of the Anton Frank of the strain in the rocks. And uh, the prerequisites for the test. The point of strength index is found or calculated by this equation, where PU is the failure load, and DE is the effective diameter. In the diametral test, it will be the core diameter. That's why people in the commercial lab, they like to use the diametral test. Now, a study done by Sian Baus and Sabata Kakis, and a very interesting study from my point of view, he tried to correlate one APA results of, uh, sorry, the point of strength index with the unconfined compressive strength, where they found linear model to work fine with, uh, with R square or 0.75, 23 ISRT. I think this reminds us with the ASTM or the ISRM equation, 24 times IST. Or the power model, which is more accurate in this case. But this is not the interesting thing about this study. The interesting thing is this. When I say United Arab Emirates rocks are very weak or weak, then you can expect an unconfirmed focus of strength value less than 50, 25, so I'll be talking in class one. And look at the number, 13. Unlike the previous one, 23. Which one will give more conservative results? Multiplying by 23 or multiplying by 13? I think multiplying by 13 will give more conservative design results. Isn't it? Now, the ASTM code also gives us some uh, <coughs> equations to determine the unconfined compressive strength of the point of this, which is the C factor, which is a side dependent factor. If you don't have this factor, you are kindly invited to choose one of these core size dependent values. And look, many people, they like to use the NX size or even more. And look at the factor here, it's 24, 24.5. And maybe more. So, which will be the accurate one? This one, or the 13, or something else? In regard to our samples, 419 samples were collected from different areas in the coastal zone of United Arab Emirates. This is the map of United Arab Emirates, where this is the main coastal zone, the main urbanized coastal zone. This is the west zone. This is Abu Dhabi's coastal zone. And this is the northern Emirates. That's why if we model this in a pie chart, you can find why Abu Dhabi has more area than other areas of the United Arab and this type of zone. Now some statistics about the results. The minimum, the maximum, the mean standard deviations for the individual test results. Then, the main fruit. Different models were generated depending on the case, depending on the rock type, depending, is it very weak, 
or weak. Very weak is any rock strength up to 5 megapascal. And weak from 5 up to 25 or maybe 30. Right? So these are the equations. Look here, linear, 9.459, even worse surface. Less than 13 also. This is, um, this is a graphical representation for the results, the main equation, the general equations. This is the linear one, for the square was 0.63. And this is the power model with an R square value of 0.68. So happy with these values. And look here, the factor is even, here is even less. 9.191 times I aesthetic to power 0.75. So less values for the unconfined process strength you can expect from this model. These are different models, which are the square root model and the exponential model for the all very weak rocks and all weak rocks. This is for the crystalline or crystalline gypsum rocks, linear models for also weak crystalline gypsum rocks. This is for all mudstone rock, square root, and for the very weak sandstone, also a square root model. Now, let's go for the comparison. Look at this one, the green one. This is the ASDM value, which is 24. And look at the numbers. Where the, the, the green value, the green graph shoots high. But look here. The red graph is by the same and separate keys. It tries to uh, give the class one, tries to give some accurate estimation. But this is the linear model, my proposed linear model, which is 9.459 IL50. And this is the cyan one, which is the power model of my results. So it is in front of you. Sorry. It's in front of you. So you can choose which one will give you better depending on design value. Which one will give me design or conservative design value? 24, 13. 9.459 or 9.191 to the power 0.75. It is for you to determine. So, my main conclusion is using a thorough study, revising, revising literature in relation between the point of strength index and the unconfined composition strength, we found that the unbounds and subatic case model class one, and the paper's results could predict accurately, more accurately, they don't claim accurate 100 percent more accurately, and more dependable design values, more dependable conservative design values for the unconfined composition strength, more than the code values. So this one is open for further research. This is the gate to further research for the rocks in United Arab Emirates. This was my presentation and questions. I have a question. Have you found those regression analyzes by Christian from ETA or any? No, 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 no. At lab, at lab, at lab analysis. Yeah. Yes. Have you ever tried any statistical program for those analyzes? SDSS. Oh, SDSS. SDSS gave some approximate results like the MATLAB. So, and because I'm a familiar user of MATLAB, yeah. I like coding. Yeah. That's why I like to use MATLAB. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. One is from.